åtte norske amerikanere har kommet hit til Norge for å konkurrere om å få møte sin norske slekt. Her skal de bli kjent med landet vårt og menneskene som bor her. Og da må de også få være med på våre eldgamle tradisjoner. Så denne uka skal norske amerikanere få være med når en ung gutt skal tre inn i de voksnes rekker. Velkommen til konfirmasjon på Dovre. Today reminded me of the Sierra Nevada mountain range in California, but you wouldn't see mountains with pine trees and forests all together. So I really haven't seen anything quite like this anywhere. It's very unique. And now it's uh, time for a break, and I have some entertainment, uh, entertainment? Here for you. So. <laughs> what is, oh, no, what is, is the entertainment? Like My first thought was they were going to reveal that we were near or close by someone's. Farm. All right, you guys, we see you. Yes. 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 Yeah. All right, hello, everyone. Oh. 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 Yes. We wanted to share some funny stories with you regarding our son, Dylan. Oh, my God. <laughs> and his eating escapades as a youngster. What? Dylan was probably about two years old. <laughs> And he, one day the, the dryer door was open and there was a little bit of lint on the inside of the dryer door. He, he decided to lick the dryer door. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing my parents' face, it was as wonderful of, of a surprise. If they've never met you before, it'll be like one of the first things they talk about because it really just kind of coincides with me being like a picky eater. Aww. I love them so much and they're just the freaking best. Aww. And, Aww. Yay. They are yeah. so cute. <laughs> no, I love That's them so to pieces. They were so sweet. Oh, that's my baby brother. Aww. Uh, when Nick was in seventh grade, he got a uh, video camcorder for either Christmas or his birthday. He decided to talk to a few girls in our middle school and convince them that <laughs> maybe going in the bathroom and showing him a little skin. <gasps> but he made a mistake, left one of these three girls out who got jealous and turned him in. Oh! He then had to leave school <laughs> and go to Immaculate Conception Catholic private school for the rest of his middle school career. I think uh, I would be sweating too if somebody told that story about me. My face is like burning right now. I know. Yeah. It's really awesome to just to get a snapshot of what my friends' like lives are like or their families. Can you imagine what happened down there? I had stuff all over me. <laughs> And then hearing their stories was kind of amazing. All the stories had like, were different. Some were just endearing. So one thing to know about Mark is that he really doesn't like having his picture taken. Cute. <laughs> Some were like sincerely embarrassing. Malaya's way of saying ice cream. Ice cream. Don't ask for some more ice cream. So my beloved brother Johnny he beat me up in front of the Pope. <laughs> Danielle went off the road, up the curb, and somehow her car was propped up here. <laughs> oh my god, it was so much fun to see everybody's families just tell super embarrassing stories about them. It was incredible. Is anyone else really overheated right yeah. now? Oh yeah. So I wonder what the point of seeing all of this is today. I feel like there's always a story behind everything that we do. Seeing the video message, it was roaming to thoughts of home, and it is uh, kind of easy to get homesick occasionally. I'm really happy that I'm here. I, I can't believe this place, but my wife's not here and my mom's not here. So I wish they were here with me, you know? Welcome to Dovre. Yeah. Nicholas, what was it like getting a greeting on the bus? There was choices made a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, I don't share that story <laughs> for that obvious reason. No. Those greetings are actually relevant as to what this week is all about. 
because we are going to dive into an old tradition where embarrassing family stories are often shared. Oh. Oh, okay. Can you guess what it is? No. no. Well, someone who does know what it is are the people living in that house. So say hi to Ivid and his family. When I saw the gown, I like immediately thought like gospel choir. Evid, hello. Hi. Evid, are we gonna sing in a choir with this guy? After you've seen what Evid is wearing, can you have a guess what's gonna happen? Confirmation. That's right. Oh. Very well, Mark. <laughs> so Evid, tell them what you're gonna do this week. Uh, I'm going to have my confirmation tomorrow, and I hope all of you guys want to come. Yes. 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 Absolutely. In the old days, you were considered an adult the year you turned 15. And ever since 1736, confirmation has been a Christian tradition. But in 1951, the first humanist confirmations were held. And today, around 20% of boys and girls choose to do it as humanists. Okay. So what are you going to do, Evie? Is it Christian or humanist? I'm going to do it a Christian way. And in Norway, confirmation is a big deal. So there's also a big celebration. And Uda. How many people are you expecting for Eva's confirmation? 67. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. But I'm sure there's a lot of preparations that has yeah. to be done. We have left to bake a lot, oat skrulle, verdens beste, and we have to make the tables and decorate them. So it would be really nice if you could help us. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, let's go inside and see what needs to be done. I'm always excited to help out. Uh, I am an awkward person by nature, so I like to have something to do, and it uh, makes me feel a little bit less awkward. Gjengen har nå blitt delt opp i grupper. Dylan og Linnea skal bake kværfjordkake, også kalt verdens beste. Mens Emma og Niklas har ansvaret for krumkakene. Listen, I have a krumkake roller, and I know how to use it. Her er det tenkt på alt, også pyntingen av bordene. All right, you're gonna show us uh, how to do this? Yeah, as you can see, I'm a football supporter. We can start with putting on the grass. Ever was great. He had a list, he had pictures, he knew exactly the way he wanted everything to be, and that's good. Det er jo viktig at alt blir perfekt til den store dagen. It's okay? Yeah. In Norwegian? Um... <laughs> you need any help? We might need a little bit of help. Yeah. Luckily, we had Uda our mom for the day, and she could help us translate. A hundred grams smudge, you know what it is? Butter. Oh, Butter. we'd be like, mom, what's this word mean? Mom, is this right? We need two tablespoons of this. T-S is not tablespoon, that's a t <laughs> teaspoon. Oh, so... see, <laughs> yep, that's yeah, important. Yeah. Thank God for mom. She she came through any time we got a little nervous, so I just like kept looking back and being like, oh my God, like, where's mom? Eva, what's your favorite dessert? A fin called tilslørte bondebiker. What is that? Ooh, I want to say that. Say that again. Tilslørte bondebiker. Tilslørte bondebiker. Tilslørte bondebiker. Tilslørte bondebiker. As long as I do that. Tilslørte bondebiker. Tilslørte bondebiker. Tilslørte bondebiker. You like them? Yeah, you have done it before, I think. I have. Okay, go. You have? Yes. Yeah. With my grandmother. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Separating the egg yolks from the egg whites was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. No offense, but. Look at the color can differences. We, can we use this instead? Absolutely. Okay. She came out with like the perfectly concocted bowl of egg whites, and then I looked over and saw mine, which just had like bits of yolk. There was even like a shell at the bottom. I was like, oh my god, like I'm about to ruin this kid's cake. Like I was like, I don't want to mess this up because it probably means a lot to them. Mens gjengen fortsetter med de essensielle forberedelsene, har Daniel fått lov til å reise til Fokstugu på Dovre. Det er her hennes slekt kommer fra, og nå skal hun få lære mer om sin families historie. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow, what a view. It's amazing. I can't believe that people that brought my family to America were here. That's just such a strange feeling. It's incredible. It's like one thing to be told, you have Norwegian family and you're, you're from Norway. To actually see the place, it's, it makes it real, it makes it 
like something in my brain is like, this is actually part of who I am. This is the house that my family lived in. Wow, that's, it's still here. That's insane. Oh my God. It looks like it's been here for 200 years. I, w I wonder how long ago my family left it. <laughs> Dear Danielle, welcome to Folkstuen. This is a truly historic location constructed by one of Norway's first kings, Øystein Magnusson. Folkstuen was built as a refuge for the pilgrims who crossed the Dovre mountain in order to see the grave of Olaf the Holy, buried in Nidaros. Wow. This is one of the first places we find traces of your ancestors. That's cool. In 1790, a man was born here and he was named Torsten Folkstuen. There are no photos of him but his name can be found in the 230 years old church book of the nearby Dovre church. Torsten, as many of his peers, worked odd jobs in the area and served here at Folkstuen like his father before him. Og det var her Torstein fant lykken med nabojenta Ingrid. In 1831, the couple had their seventh child. They named him Ole, and he is your three times great grandfather. Wow. Efter mange år i tjeneste på vandrerhjemmet dro familien i 1831 over fjellet til Trøndelag. Der fikk yngste sønnen Ole etter hvert sin egen familie. Ole, working as a mason, had two children. One of them was named Thomas. I've heard of this guy, your second great-grandfather. And there's a picture of the family. Thomas looks so sweet and young and serious. <laughs> The small holding was in a poor condition and didn't yield enough crops. In 1867, Ola and his family made a choice to leave the little they had for a better future in the United States. The small holding they left in Trondelag no longer exists, but your living Norwegian family does. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's these two smiling people. In Norway, many of Ola's siblings stayed behind. One of them was named Elling Torstensen, and it's his descendants that make up your Norwegian relatives. Wow. Should you go all the way and win, you will get to reconnect with them where it all started, right here at Folkstuen. Wow. That's amazing. I think there's something that happens when you step onto ground, when you breathe air, there's like this generational sense memory of like, my genes have been here before on this land. Your brain like re resonates when you're there. That's maybe the most Santa Cruz thing I've ever said in my life. But I never stood before probably in my life anywhere that my actual relatives were. <sighs> Crazy. Now that I've seen it, it's just sort of excited my brain even more to get even closer to my heritage and my culture. Tilbake på Toftemo er kromkakene ferdigstekt, og Niklas og Emma har tilbudt seg å hjelpe til med verdens beste. Til Dullens store fortvilelse. Det var som om noen andre hadde tatt min barn. Jeg hadde raised det, og så var de som hadde sendt det til skolen. Ok, er du klar? Hold det på den barnet. Men på slutten av dagen er det alle om barnet. De har tatt til hvor de måtte være. De er exakt hvor de skal være, så jeg er så proud av denne kaken. Det er veldig flott. Ja. Perfekt. Etter alt arbeidet er det på tide med en velfortjent pust i bakken. Det ser ut som du er der. Ja. Og deltakerne skal for første gang få smake på en ekte norsk tradisjonsrett, rømmegrøt. Hva er det? Det er en porridge. Ooh, og med sour cream. Jeg tror ikke jeg har hatt det. Nei. La oss gå. Ja, det er bra. Det er bra. Hva er det? Hva er det? Hva er det? It's delicious. Like it smells soupy. like cheese. So what like are we cheese. eating? It's called something like that. Rumagrid. Rumagrid. Ow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to think of it because there was, there was like cinnamon on the table, there was sugar on the table, but then there was meats. I'm like, is this sweet? Is it salty? Still don't know what I think about it, but I tried it. Hi, Thanks, Hello. Hey. Oh, good. So good. Yeah. Here, so cool. So, so, okay. Yes. No. Yeah. So, tell us everything. My, this 
homestead that I was on is in the middle of like a huge valley. The site that it was built on is like an inn where the pilgrims have been coming for like a thousand years. Whoa. And one of the first kings of Norway built it. That's so cool. They had a picture of my family members and they said that we would meet there if I, if I won. So like Whoa. that's where we would meet. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah. Too bad you're not gonna win. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. hey! Hello! Hey. Hey. What are you guys eating? Um, uh, porridge. Is it yeah. your first time eating it on Yes. 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 Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. Listen, there's one more essential and embarrassing part of every confirmation. Okay. Yeah. And that's the homemade song. Or as we call it, the Nuru Yes. Yeah, that means the pink song. Pink song. And it's it's just because it's often printed on like colorful paper and stuff. Oh, you don't turn pink? The person getting confirmed might turn a little pink. Yes. Because it's always the family members who are too shy to hold speeches. They write that song because then everyone has to sing it, you know? Oh. Yeah. And very often they're not very good songwriters, but I was thinking that maybe you guys are. So maybe you want to write a pink song? Yeah. Yes. For Evie? Yeah. 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 Then there are some rules, all right? Okay. Every sentence has to rhyme, but the rhyme doesn't have to be good. Can we do yeah. it in English or does it have to be Norwegian? I think as much as possible should be in Norwegian. Oh, okay. oh boy. <laughs> And the second thing is that very often there's too many words in there for the melody to handle. That's fine. Then just yeah. sing it faster, you know? <laughs> so if you speed up a few times to get all the words with you along the way, totally fine. Cool. And the third thing is the theme of the song. It should be like a, a gentle roast made with love. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Just keep it light, keep it funny and keep it rhyming and keep it full of words <laughs> that are Norwegian and you'll be fine. Um, right, part of it in Norwegian, part of it could be in English, it needs to rhyme, the sentences can be longer if they need to be. I mean, it's really all over the boards. Really, there's no rules to the rules that were set as rules that are not actual rules. Norske amerikanerne er nå delt opp i to grupper, og skal ved hjelp av flaue historier fra Ivers familie og venner sette tekst til sangen Dyrene i Afrika. All right. We need all the dirt, all the tea. Let's hear some embarrassing stories. Um, me and him, we were going to watch his uh, uncle's cabin. So uh, we were lying on the roof there, and mm. then uh, he needed to pee. <laughs> so he peed in the... Gutters? Yeah. <laughs> he peed in the gutters while uh, his uncle was watching on uh, the cameras. Usen <laughs> sangen. <laughs> We are essentially just making fun of this boy we don't know <laughs> and like asking his friends for all these embarrassing stories. It seems a bit wrong to me, but at the same time I'm like, yes, yes, keep telling me. What do you have to say? For Ivor was walking a lot in sleep, but once he tried to go in the toilet in sleep. Oh, but, oh, but, yeah. but, not uh, in the bathroom. <laughs> so let's hear about these girls he kissed, because it sounds like he's kissed more than one. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I, I think you have to tell them. Well, it was a game. Prostitute. 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 We got some good dirt from his friends. You know, if you need to embarrass a 15-year-old, nine times out of ten, it's going to be about girls. How many girls are in your class? Nine. Do you kissed think he's kissed all nine, nine, or maybe a half half of that? We're going to say maybe he half. kissed all nine. He's kissed five. Four and, and a half girls. Four, he's, kissed. he's kissed four and a half girls. Frosca dude in ha ha ha. Four point uh, five girls ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a lot of pressure for us because we want it to be the best day ever. We want it to be so much fun. But I don't know what these other uh, 59 people are going to think when they see these eight Americans uh, making a fool of themselves tomorrow. Uh, but they're definitely in for a treat. Strax er det konfirmasjon i Dovre kirke. Yesterday I was joking that I would burst into flames because I'm not religious. And I walked in and I'm still here, so I'm safe. Og taperlaget fra forrige uke skal selv stå til konfirmasjon. I really want to meet my Norwegian family, so I want to stay. I need to learn more.
Norsk amerikanerne är er på Dovre for att uppleva en vaskeekte norsk konfirmation i Dovre kirke. Are you excited? I am excited. I'm really excited. This church is incredible. It's so beautiful. The fact that it's still here after hundreds of years and that my family members were baptized here is profound. It's amazing. Just to be in a place where for hundreds of years people have gathered together and shared the most intimate parts of their life can be a bit overwhelming. You know, it's been a long time since I've been in a church. I don't know, I'm in this wonderful country, and so I just, I'm, I'm happy to be here and, and to experience this. Ask Danielle, is that you? Yes. I was wondering if you would be um, willing to read in English one of the texts for the day. Sure, I would really? love to. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. I felt really moved to be invited to be a part of the ceremony. I hope I don't cry. Well, I'm reading. It was an honor. You know, I think it was an honor to be invited. It seemed like it was a very proud moment for Ether's family. This is a big milestone, and I uh, think we all had a little sense of pride in uh, Ether as well. Gratulerer med denne store dagen. I dag skal det konfirmeres. La oss be. Gud, vi er kone inn i ditt heilage hus for å ta imot det du vil gi oss. Because I didn't understand any of the words, uh, it felt a little bit like I was a kid again. La oss nå opp hjertet vårt. Because there were moments where I was like, I don't know what's going on. Denne formen er ikke tilfeldig. Det er for det første en hake her for at jeg da skal kunne... Unfortunately, majority of it was lost on me. Ja, du kan den kanskje uten at også du. But other than that, it was just uh, enjoying the moment. <laughs> and now, Danielle will read for us. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. I just felt surrounded and blessed in many ways. And of course, I started crying when Daniel got up. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil for you are with me. It, it just hit me, it's just incredible that she gets to be in this church where her family stood so many years ago, and she gets to read during a service. It was beautiful. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Here ends the reading. To be actually standing near the altar where I think Torsten, my relative, was baptized and like, so many years ago it was just incredible. Vi ber dig for Iver og omgiv han med din syngning til et liv med fremtid og vond. I was moved to be a part of it just because it's this is like an intimate family moment. And then also an intimate community moment. And to be a part of that is amazing. They look a lot older than they did yesterday. Like, yeah, oh. they look 15 now. No, they look 15. Before I was like 12. 12. <laughs> it was a wonderful ceremony. It was really special. Yeah, really special. I really, really liked it. I'm a very spiritual person. So this really hit my heart. Nå skal konfirmasjonsfølge tilbake til Toftemo, hvor bordet er dekket og alt er klart til fest. Jeg er Dylan. Nice to meet you, Mari. Jeg er Dylan. Nice to meet you. Aslaug. Aslaug? Ja. Nice. Aslaug. Aslaug. Ja, ja. Jeg er ikke den beste noen ganger, men... Ja. Nice to meet you. Hallo. I am not a mingler. Uh, I, small talk terrifies me. And your bunad is from? Lasha Buna. Lasha? Where's that? Dobre, Lasha. I tend to be a little bit socially awkward, so when they sent us in there and said to mingle, that was a little bit terrifying. But uh, really nice folks all around. And uh, 
Hope it'll be a, a good time. Kjær alle sammen, uh, dear all of you. Da vi ønsker velkommen til min konfirmasjon. We will be served dinner and there will be moose stick, moose patty, vegetables, creamed potatoes and gravy. For dessert there will be uh, wild farmer girls. <laughs> We're like, is that a dirty joke? Yeah, it sounded weird. Did you just make an inappropriate joke about, like, eating girls for dessert? What is this exactly? <laughs> little moose, little farm girl. Yeah, I'd be going back to America, a totally different man. I think I'll sing a welcome song to Ivy. They opened up this market, not the day they brought us out the sun and hot. Is that the moose? I think this is the moose, yeah. Everybody was happy, smiling, eating, being Americans in that situation, like at a family party where we don't know anyone, was embarrassing. Men da er det bra at vi nordmenn har som tradition å bryte opp stemningen med ukomfortable selskapsleker. I received a paper bag on my table and was told to put it on my head. Just piling stuff on top of your head. Along with shot glasses on my eyeballs just are not a pin-up look for me. You look... <laughs> if you can't beat them, just join them. I mean, that's all there is to it at a party like this. I couldn't stop laughing because Everybody looked ridiculous, so I assumed I looked ridiculous too. But I love parties like this. <laughs> the whole experience of everyone singing the song together and just went on to show that you're never too old or too young to make a fool of yourself. I want to teach my entire family so that we can all be goofballs and get embarrassed together. New tradition. Så vi stikket en rosa sangen. Så er det våre nye venner her som har skrevet sang. I hope we have a lot of help on it, because uh, I am not feeling comfortable in carrying the weight of performing that. Det er for lite i følgelse som du nå får høre Om like gutten fra tomten på at han har å gjøre I was hoping that maybe the, the song would inspire the, the family to take up the, the melody and really deliver it, which it did not. <laughs> We've done some pretty embarrassing things while I've been here, but I don't know what it was about standing up and singing that song, but it was just like crickets. Got it. <laughs> Bear with us, keep it going. Hold it together. The crowd just wasn't really into it, so we just all kind of like forced our way through, so we were singing at different speeds, different tempos. <laughs> Kind of embarrassed, but kind of also had no idea what we were singing. It was just a hot mess. I think that we got our point across. I think there were people embarrassed in the room. I think most of them were the Americans, but um, I don't know. I mean, I, I thought we did pretty well. So, I have tea for a little coffee. Help yourself. And your cake is over there. Norway eats more sweets than I ever expected, and I'm not even joking. I am very, very, very surprised how much there is readily available all the time. I, I need to try it because they made it, so. Yeah, he's, he's trying your cake. When we completed the cake, I was like, oh, it'll be just fine. But then today came and like, I felt like I was like showing like a show horse. I'm gonna look at everyone's plate that gets it and see if they eat it. I wanted it to place really well. And I just have been like looking at people's plates to see if they tried it. You guys, this cake looks so good. 
and I'm, I feel pretty good that like most people have eaten most of it, if not all of it, and then it seems to be one of the most popular cakes on the table. Did you try the cake that we made? Is that one good? Yeah, okay. it's really good. Oh, it is good. Yeah. It's like not overly sweet. No, it's like, really good. We did a good job. Oh my God, today has been so much fun. I have had such a cool day. Being here with Eva's beautiful family and celebrating him really reminded me what this is all about and how special it is to be looking to connect with your family members. Today has been a lot about family and I miss my family. I am very aware that I have an individual competition challenge tomorrow, but I don't want to go home. Not yet. Tiden er inne for den avgjørende konkurransen, hvor en av våre venner blir nødt til å reise tilbake til USA. This is probably the most important challenge that I've done yet. There's so much on the line. We're at the halfway point. Going home just really isn't an option for me. I really, really, really want to meet my Norwegian family. I feel like I don't know enough about Norway and what it has to offer, the places. So I want to stay. I need to learn more. Back in the old days, the teenagers standing before the priests were tested in Christian theology before being confirmed. Now it's your turn to be tested, not only in your knowledge about Norwegian confirmation, but also in everything that you've hopefully learned on your journey through Norway. Let's play the confirmation cash quiz. It used to be common for the youngsters to receive a hip flask to mark that they could start drinking with the adults. But for the kids today, it's all about the money. Many get as much as 50,000 kroner for their confirmation. And that will also be your goal today. So the first three to get 50,000 kroner are confirmed and safe. And whoever is left will have to leave Alt for Norge and go back to America. On this board, there are questions with different values in four categories. And the categories are confirmation, your travels, Norwegian food, and Norwegian language. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then we'll start with confirmation for 10,000 kroner. And the question is, how old are you? No Nicholas, you were the fastest. Do you have an answer for me? Yes, 15 years old. What do you think the question was? How old do you have to be for your confirmation? Nicholas? Yes. That is correct. All right. You've won 10,000 kroner. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Nicholas, since you got that right, it's your turn to choose a category and a value. Let's do uh, confirmation for 20,000 kroner. What do you confirm when you go through a Christian confirmation? Nicholas. You confirm your faith in God and that he is the following light. That is correct. Here's another 20,000 kroner. Thank you. Nicholas, since you got that question as well correct, mm -hmm. it's your turn to choose the next one. You already have 30,000 kroner, mm -hmm. so there's only 20,000 kroner more you need to be safe yes. in Altfornodge. What do you choose? Uh, confirmation for 25,000 kroner. When was confirmation in... Dylan, yes. do you have an answer for me? 1736. The question was, when was confirmation introduced in Norway? And 1736 is correct. Well done. Here's 25,000 kroner. Thank you. And Dylan, mm -hmm. that also means that you can choose a category and a value. Let's do your travels, 25. That means that if either you or Nicholas gets this correct, you will be safe. So far, on your travels, you have seen 16 Norwegian fjords. Name one of them. Nicholas. I knew at least a few of the fjords by heart, but uh, I definitely had nerves rushing through my body, and I just didn't want to fail. Norse fjord. Nicholas? Yeah.
That is correct. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! <laughs> well done. Oh. This means more than I could probably put words to. I'm not going home. I get uh, more time to look for my family and to possibly still win. We'll continue with your travels for 10,000 kroner. What was the name of the German boat that you... Tamara, do you have an answer for me? The Brewer. Tamara? That is wrong. Danielle? Blücher. Danielle? That's correct. Congratulations. Here's 10,000 kroner. And since you got it right, you can now pick the category and the value. Norwegian language, 25. You know that means that Dylan can win, right? If he gets it right. 20,000. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dylan. It's all good. <laughs> what is the Norwegian word for cabin? Danielle? Hutte. That is correct. There's another 20,000 for you. Thank you. Tamara, Danielle has 30,000 kroner and Dylan has 25, and you still have nothing. So this is your chance now. Yes. Danielle, since you got it right, it's your turn to choose the category and the value. Norwegian language 25. Dylan and Danielle, if any of you get this, then you're safe in Alt for Norge. What is the Norwegian saying we use to describe how one should be in a good mood? Dylan. Ut patur aldrisur. Dylan? That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God I am safe. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You may join the others. Thank you. Safety in this game is everything. That means I get to continue my search. I get to continue on this wonderful adventure with these amazing people. I want to be here so bad. Danielle and Tamara, it's down to the two of you. And that means that one of you will unfortunately be going home today. Danielle, you've got 30,000 kroner. And Tamara, you have nothing yet. But there's still lots of money left on this board. We'll continue with Norwegian food for 10,000 kroner. I'm gonna show you a picture, and I want the Norwegian word for the food I'm showing you, okay? Question is, what is this? Danielle. Brun Ost. That is the right answer. There's another 10,000. Thank you. Danielle, you need only 10,000 more to be safe in Alt for Norge. Since you got it right, Danielle, that means that you can choose the category and the value. Uh, Norwegian language for 15. What is the Norwegian word for country? Danielle. Feld? That is wrong. Tamara? Um, country? No. <laughs> Sorry. That's not right. <laughs> Tried. Sorry. You are trying. <laughs> then we'll take another question for Norwegian language for 15,000 kroner. Remember, if Danielle gets this right, then she is safe and you're going to have to go home, Tamara. What is the Norwegian word for weather? Danielle? Fed. Danielle? Yeah. That is correct. Thank you. You're safe. And Tamara, I'm so sorry. That means that you're going to have to leave Alt for Norge today. When I realized I had to go home, it's, it was a feeling of disbelief. <laughs> but I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. I was not expecting to go home. I was here for the full journey, and it's anyone's game. It's been really fun with you guys, and I didn't expect to meet such amazing people. Tamara. Yeah. You're gonna have to come with me now. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, bye everybody. Bye. 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 I love you. So glad to have met you. Likewise. How do you feel right now, Tamara? Sad. Yeah. You know, I was ready to continue on with this great adventure. What's the one experience here in Norway that you'll always remember? 
I think the people. Yeah? <laughs> but I'm sad that I didn't get to go see my farm. Yeah. Or learn more about my family, because that was why I was here. But we have made a little book for you. Oh. <laughs> and maybe some of the things you're looking for is in that book. Oh, wow. We're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. Yeah. You better come back. I plan on it. Have a safe trip home, OK? OK, thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's the first picture of everybody. It, it's really been spectacular. I mean, Norway is a beautiful country. The people are beautiful. There's so much history here. And I have loved every moment. Oh, here's my family tree. Eric Erickson there, that's where he is. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. I wish I could have met them. Oh, wow, this is Eric Erickson. I've never had a picture. I definitely feel more Norwegian than ever. This is so amazing. It's in my blood, and now I have the proof of it even more. Oh, that's my family. Oh, my gosh. This is my Norwegian family would love to hear from me. I'm overwhelmed by all of this to know that now in another country, I have all of this family. I mean, it's so many people, and we're all related. It's so amazing. This has been such an incredible adventure. To Tamara. To Tamara. To Tamara. And to family in general. I see, I see. hold on. Okay. I love you guys, and I'm so happy to get to be here with you. Well, this looks nice. Yay. Hey! Oh, I need to try your kvafjordkake. Yes. 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 Left. Well, I, I need the rest of it. Can you yes. Oh, yes. All yours. <laughs> All right. Let's have a try. Tell us what you think of the cake. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. All right. Are you guys ready for new adventures? Yeah. Okay. Then finish your cake and get on the bus. Okay. Nu er det bare å pakke snippesken, for gjengen bak meg skal på fjelltur i hele Norges fjellhovedstad Åndalsnes. Så da ses vi om en uke. Going on this train ride felt like we had stepped inside of a postcard. You will spend the night at the foot of a man. What? <laughs> Guys, it's a cold red, and the man's about to fall. We got this. I am frightened of how you're going to edit this. You're going to make me look like a monster. <laughs> Sure.